Orugal festival's theme is the first quality of the mother, sincerity. And today we are on the day 7 of the event. And uh, we also have a theme to the day. Today is dedicated to Mahalakshmi and the theme of the day is abundance. Um, and in this 4 p.m. city conversations, today we are going to talk about the perhaps the largest zone of Aurobel, the green belt, the green zone, and also the four parks, which are basically uh, in between all the four zones. Uh, and to join the conversation with me, I have Louis Cohen, I have Prasad, I have Banu, I have Pierre, and I have Sumit. Um, and uh, the format of the conversation will be that we first start from an aspirational point of view. Uh, why is, what is the purpose, I mean, why was this conceptualized? Uh, why do we need this green belt? Um, how will it add to the larger aspects of the galaxy? How it is a crucial aspect of the uh, plan? Uh, and from there, from the aspirational aspects, we will come down to how we can, what are the routes that we can take to manifest it? Uh, how we can ensure that it happens in a right manner? And how do we define the right manner? Okay. And from there, we will end with the what aspect. The what is the practicalities in a way. What are the things that need to be in place to ensure that we reach where we need to reach? So I would request each one of you to first give your, deliver your note from the aspirational level. What do you think should we as a community aspire for this green belt, which is, which is uh, three fourth of 20 square kilometer, three fourth of 20 square, which is 15 square kilometers of the plan. Um, and uh, I would also, while you reflect uh, your aspirations, I would like you to also look at it from two aspects. One is your individual aspiration and what do you think should be our collective aspiration? Yeah, I will introduce myself a yes, little please. bit. Yes. Otherwise, what I'm going to say is that it's not going to make much sense. So, I will go back to the profession which is software developer uh, in the corporate system like everybody. So, I quit this and went to the mountain, uh, spent a lot of time alone and uh, Social point of view, I came back to a low level of uh, society, uh, but uh, being very happy with the trees and nature. So, since you ask uh, what is uh, how I see the aspiration level, wh why, what is the purpose of the green bell yeah. and the park? I really say strongly that uh, um, nature has a tune, it's like playing music, no? So this tune is the turning fork for mm. a soul to evolve. Mm. So if we don't have uh, this vibration in the sufficient, sufficient quantity, quality around us, mm. uh, mind will again take over all humanity and we will fall into the trap that for the last 7,000 years we see what is happening. True. So at this time, I also want to say that I feel a little sad that uh, we don't consider, we consider it, but we don't talk enough here in the context of Orbin. I'm here for 14 years. And. Yeah. Hello. No. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, much, much, much better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the, the philosophy and. Uh, I think we have to count on the philosophical aspect of what we are doing here. And I also put the level a little higher on the spiritual level. Mm. So I started with this frequency of nature for us to tune with uh, the universe, of course, but right. with our own, to, to remember who we truly are. Right. And nature by itself does it. Correct. We don't need to do that much. It's there. That's how I started my sadhana in uh, France, mm -hmm. not reading anything, just going into the forest and breathing mm -hmm. and contemplating. And I can really say the tune is there. Inside the life is uh, born again. So I came in India for spirituality and spent eight years in Ashram, in Maharashtra and Kerala, and now I'm 14 years in Auroville, working 
in Buddha Garden Farm mm -hmm. and developing also, uh, doing the pioneer experience of uh, reviving a pebble uh, degraded land. This is for the heart uh, most amazing healing uh, that a human being can take care of because we all know that uh, the mind is carrying everybody away and uh, walking in with, a, with the soil. Mm. And if I can talk like that, maybe people will love. But the, the first message, as Banu said, the soul gave me, yeah. the first message I got from the land is yeah. grow your roots. Mm. So 14 years in only doing that. Growing your roots. <laughs> Growing my roots. And uh, of course, it's very challenging. We have to perspire every day. <laughs> and this is also a challenge because uh, now with this modern civilization, uh, we have to work physically speaking. Uh, everybody is happy for one week, 10 days, two weeks, but yes. after uh, going to somewhere else. Yeah. So I'm still here. And uh, I'm very much involved in the farm group as, uh, as uh, Prasad uh, knows. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, how to say it? You you can sense uh, how Passad uh, see it. Um, I'm also uh, trying to keep quiet, but uh, I keep shouting them that we really need to make a huge quantum leap in this, uh, in what we need here, because we are not even producing 20% of the oil we need. Right. I made the documentary, I think uh, now uh, most of uh, Aurelian uh, mm -hmm. concerned by the situation I've seen on the Ashram farm, which is 20 kilometers from here. So they are 80, 90 percent self-sufficient for the, uh, yeah, <laughs> for the vegetable need, yeah. uh, oil, uh, milk and all this kind of thing, they are 100 percent sustainable right. with the same area, the same capacity, the same everything. So, of course, I will put on the table what is the difference between Ashram and Auroville. I think everybody knows that uh, Auroville challenge is uh, tackling the freedom and the self-discipline and the inner growth, not uh, waiting for a hierarchy to say what to do. Right. But I really think that here we have to make progress and to find one way or another to get, again, to get people yeah. uh, go beyond the difference and to, to really learn to work together mm. as a duty. Because uh, in the farm group, I have to name it, to name yeah. it. It's very individual. Everybody plays his uh, yeah. kind of king and uh, queen uh, game mm. and uh, put a tribunal everywhere and judge the work of others. And when uh, they are not happy, they really try to destroy the initiative, like uh, it happened to Assad, that also happened to me. So I'm surviving, but uh, I think we have to find a way to stop this uh, monopoly mm -hmm. and to really work together in the right spirit. So my main message today, because I've been thinking two or three days, is not a technical message, it's a spiritual and philosophical, mm -hmm. because I've been struggling 14 years to create a good atmosphere mm. in the teamwork in the farm. Mm. I know the route is there. For our future, we have to recreate the uh, right atmosphere for the work. Means find a way to stop to fight, be friend, be happy, find the satisfaction in what we do with the right people. This is a key for sure of the future. Friendship, happiness, collaboration, synergy, all this kind of thing has to be put at the table. So this is the domain of spirituality and philosophy, and we have to be to stop to be shy to talk about that. A good atmosphere is a good atmosphere. If in Auroville someone cannot know what is a good atmosphere, better to see somewhere else, you know? Right. I'm, I'm becoming a little tough. Okay, so... No, no, we'll come back to you. Okay. <laughs>